Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos, and you have joined my channel on a Friday again. What were you thinking? <laughs> uh, seriously, though, I am glad to have you back. Welcome. Come on in if this is your first time. Um, I do a lot of weird things, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy some of it. And today, I am diving into the Funkoverse strategy game, which... I've still got the labels on these. Um, I wasn't really sure about getting these. Um, and then I ended up getting a deal on, on these two, the big with a Batman strategy game, along with the Robin and Catwoman. And uh, when I say I got a deal on it, uh, of all of these, the only one I paid full price for was this one, the new Wonder Woman one. And the only reason I did that is because, hey, look, I'm being able to get, uh, let's see, four. I'm able to get eight characters, and I am a nut as far as mm, get, getting a good DC collection uh, as fast as I can. And uh, basically... I paid the same for this one as I did for both of these together. <laughs> so yeah, this was a deal I couldn't pass up. And then once I got to this level, it was like, well, I can't just not have this one. And um, I haven't seen these things get too popular. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about these. Um, so I don't know if this was something that Funko is going to continue to do. Um, but if they do, I'll be ready. So let's get right into the, uh, this guy. And I figure if I've got all this, I'm, I'm assuming due to the fact that uh, it says, uh, yeah, I'm guessing. Mm. <laughs> or mixed with other DC Comics Funkoverse games. So I've got all the Funkoverse games to date. So if I wanted to get into this, I could get quite a good thing going on here. And uh, of course, I wouldn't even have. I wouldn't even have tried if it weren't for the fact that I could get Dick Grayson. Oh, that doesn't look like Dick Grayson. That looks like... Well, I'll figure that out when I get in there because I want to take a look at these guys. And uh, I'll let you have a look at these as well. And apparently there are maps. And... Yeah, maps. <laughs> maps in the Funko figures, which I think I'll... I think I'm only just going to pull out the figures and let you have a look at those. And uh, if you want, to, want me to... I mean, I'm going to dive more into this game, but... Uh, if you want more information about these guys, or uh, want me to play it, obviously not on camera, um, but give it a trial run and see how it goes, we're just gonna look at the figures during this thing because it looks like it will be a little bit too in depth to try and learn how to play the game while I'm trying to film a video. And, uh, well, I will pull out a map if I can't do it. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what they've got down here. Uh, these are obviously the gameplay cards. These are the gameplay cards. This is the... Uh, this is, apparently there's a video on how to play this. 
and uh, it's got four bases to it and it looks like Harley comes with a mallet because of course she does um, and it looks like huh it appears there is a map that I think it said two starting maps on the box here um, yeah, two playable maps. Gotham City Streets and Jokel's Carnival Chase. Chaos. Said I'm just. I'll go ahead and give a close up on these figures, so you can have a look at them. Uh, these appear to be very. They're not quite mystery minis, but they're about half the size of a regular Funko Pop. So, again, you get Batman and. I'm guessing there's something that all of them can hold because they all seem to be in the same pose in which they all, all their hands, it looks like you could put something in the hands here and uh, we'll see if that's like that for all of them. But yeah, obviously it comes with uh, the main, uh, the big box came with Batman and Batgirl and then Joker and Harley, because, let's face it, three of these characters, you can't have a Batman thing without including, and uh, Batgirl is always the best person to put in if you're, if you're going to do a boy-girl, boy-girl situation, that's probably your best bet, and so then we're going to dive into the, okay, so in initially looking at these, uh, I thought they were leaning more towards the animated series, but after getting this out, uh, this is more like, uh, Catwoman's leather cat suit that she wore in one of her solo series, uh, including the goggles, which is one of, one of her more popular designs. And this is very clearly the Tim Drake Robin. And again, all of them. Well, I guess Catwoman's got the reverse pose, so she's actually got her left hand out to hold whatever it is. The only thing I really saw that any of them would actually hold would be the uh, would be Harley's mallet. Oh, Catwoman comes with a whip. Who knew? But does Tim come with a staff? I don't see a staff. Yeah, look at me kind of grumble. I have no idea what these are. If this were a Superman game, I would assume, and these were green, I would assume they were kryptonite, but as I have no idea what this is. Again, I haven't really looked at how to play the game. you got six die going on here. So, I'm getting a sense of potentially risk, maybe? As far as a similar game, um, which would be very cool, and it would make me want to play this game a lot more, but a strategy game is a strategy game, so we got to love that, and they've got the instructions, and again, there's another GoFunko.com, DC Comics Funko vs. How to Play, where there's a video on how to play this game. They've got an ad for the big game on the back here, which there's probably a map for that one. And there appears to be, that doesn't really say. Let me take a look here. Uh, it comes with, huh. ah, yeah, two, Arkham Asylum and Catwoman's Penthouse, as far as playable maps. And, uh. With Arkham Asylum, you've got two characters where you could pretty much just go straight there. And Catwoman's Penthouse, that could very easily be the setting of a good little adventure. So, we got those four. I'm going to guess that... Ooh, I wonder if the Wonder Woman comes with the Themyscira map. We could look on the back right now and say... Yep, Themyscira, Themyscira and Mizari Jungle. 
And this is interesting because it says on the box here that it features a Wonder Woman game piece, which apparently nobody else gets a piece, but Wonder Woman does. Yeah, there's no, I thought that that's what the figures were, were the game pieces. Uh, so, yeah, the Wonder Woman looks like she is more or less from the movie-verse, judging by the style of her. And uh, Cheetah... Cheetah is just simply Cheetah. <laughs> um, and she could, she could be any number of the Cheetah characters. There have been many. Um, taking a look around here, I'm thinking there is one red die. Does that count as her game piece? Um, there is a lasso in here that you can give to her. But apparently she holds in her hand. And uh, yeah, they've got that. And once again, they have the how to play video and a couple of maps. And just what little I see of the Themyscira mask. That looks, that looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, without playing the game, I couldn't really. I will play. Ooh. I'm not going to hunt down any uh, uh, gameplay on this thing, because there's really only one game I do that with, but uh, I will read up on this and see if it entices me to invite some people over to play a little game, and uh, what is it? I'm going to look at the big one here and see... Uh, two to four players for those, and uh, yeah, the smaller ones say two players, so I guess after I read it, I can see if I did uh, mix it with other DC uh, characters, uh, if I could use maybe if they made more, if they made more. I don't really know that they will, because... I know they've made a lot of these from several different uh, properties, but I haven't really seen or heard of anybody really playing this game. So I'm going to go ahead and give you close-ups on these so you can have a look at these uh, smaller. And I haven't seen these designs uh, done on full-size Funkos. Uh, obviously not because they're all in the same pose, really. And uh, I'm going to let you get a look at these, and I will see you next time with something else. Probably DC-related, but not necessarily, because <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place.